Okay, so it's January 25th, so the next uh, future session has started. I do my sessions from 6 p.m. to the next day when, when it closes around 4.30. So uh, next session has started. We started out with a loser, did not trade it, um, and then we got a winner. So that worked out good because we did have a switch here, right, to the long side, but it never, um, it never really concluded um, to, you know, never really stopped out. So and then we had a switch here to the short side. Um, and that was a winner, but since this switched the long side, there you go. Now you can see it better. Since the switch to the, to the long side never hit its target, nor did it hit its uh, stop. I didn't enter this trade because we don't take a trade until the previous trade has uh, finished. So this trade did finish. So we can now go ahead and jump into the next trade that becomes available. So we're just waiting on the next trade and then we'll be jumping in and hopefully getting green. All right, so finally we got our switch from red to blue, so indicating a long play. We're getting ready to break the line right here. Active trader. We got one loaded in, and this candle expires in about uh, 25 seconds, then we'll hit the buy button, mark it up, and see how it goes. All right, so we should be in. Yep, we're in. Go ahead and mark this up real quick. Okay, so we're in the target. So right now I could jump out of this trade and it would be a good trade hitting that target, which is also a support area right here. So if we break this support, this thing could really slide. So I'm gonna give it a second and uh, let it do it. Let's see what it does. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my stop right here. And I'm gonna trail this stop down here a little bit. Like I said, if we break that support, we really could break it. And we did. So this could just continue on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave my stop right there. And now I'm going to start trailing my stops off of the the algo, the purple algo line here. If if it catches up to me. I could be getting out right now though. We'll see what happens. Okay, so there we go. So we're out with our uh, 1125. 11.25. So if this was on the ES, this would be like a $100 trade. <laughs> But with the MES, it is what it is. All right, so cool. That's one down, and uh, we'll see if we get a couple more this evening. Okay, so we got our red uh, red showed up again. So these are in alignment again. So we're going to go ahead and hit this again with a short. Right there. Uh, we got in just a skosh late. I was hoping to get that right up there. But my stop will be um, just above this again. So I'm not going to put it right on this. Uh, line. I'm going to move just above. So we're at 38, 34, 03, 38, 34. So we're going to have to go to 25 by. So is that's where our stop is. And then we're going to mark up our target. So I draw my line from here. And it's going to go to the where this candle started or closed on this uh, first red candle. So we... Oh. Let's move this up a little bit. Okay, so we got in out of the nice little discount, getting in around here somewhere. I'm going to put a mark in where I got in. All right, so we're through to the target. So I'm going to go ahead and move my stop. Uh, I don't want to get, there we go. Okay. So 25, it, we really want to get out at two zero, but we may be getting out a little bit, a uh, little high here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got out a little high. All good though. We're still uh, making money. We didn't take a loss on it. So another green trade. So we'll go ahead and mark that green. This one over here was green. Would have been a big green if I would have stayed in, right? So there we go. So that would have been about a $50, $60 trade. Had but for now, we just started the year, so we're starting with a little account. So for now, we're here and uh, slowly uh, making some money. So we'll uh, we'll hit the next trade when it shows up. All right, so when we look at these charts, um, we have the sniper over here, red light, green light. And then we have our, um, our red line, the one minute. So over here, we had the red light, green light indicate a short play. I didn't take it because I was looking at what was happening on the one minute chart over here. 
So I, I didn't I didn't jump into this yet. So this switches back to the short side. I'll jump in and play it as a red light green light because it's be a much bigger move, more money. But there's been so many winners with red light green light. I'm a little nervous that this is going to be a loser. So I mean, it's I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell what's going on here. So kind of got a little bit of a wedge going on. So this could just stay right in this area. You know, we do have um, a, a low, a lower low. So is this gonna try to make a lower low? We have a high, lower highs, right? So this could be a potential slide down big time. So we'll have to monitor this and see what happens. But if this is gonna trigger back to a short trade, then I'll jump in short based on this and I will do my exit based on this. Okay, so we got about 10 seconds left before this becomes a short play definitely jumping into this because it's also part of that red light green light so this could be good so I'm gonna enter here three two one all right so now we're short and I'm gonna mark this up just so I can see this track and actually this is not a correct trade so the reason why is this needed to be purple so I jumped into this trade on the one minute which I should not be in per se but I'm gonna play it off of red light green light like I said so I'm gonna go ahead and close active trader here Okay, so here we are, and then I'm gonna maximize red light, green light. So now we're in red light, green light. Let's make this bigger so we can see it better. And let's mark up red light, green light. So here we are. And I have not had a loss in a very long time on this, so this might be that loser. We shall see. All right, so that's gonna do it for me for the red line strategy for the evening. So. That will be a green a green trade for today on that strategy because uh, I'm going to go to bed. And uh, here we are with this, which I'm going to go ahead and put my order in now. And so I can just call it a night and I don't have to watch this. And then we'll see how it is in the morning. So let me come over here to single OCO. Boost this up quite a bit. I could do that or I could just take um, auto send off. So um, I'm short, so I'm going to want to buy it back. I got my trade in and then I can move this to make it all right good deal so our our trades all set up it in so now I can go to bed wake up in the morning and find out what happened here if I want to see some alerts I can go ahead and do the halfway alert just in case I do hear it create alert single at or below and then that will alert me it'll send a message to my phone letting me know that this is at or below that number and then I can set another alert here. Um, create alert. Add or above. Okay, and then when I trade exits, it'll also alert me. So, all right, there we go. So, yep, two winners on a red line. Call it a night on red line, and then we just entered red light, green light, and then we'll see how this uh, shapes up. So I'm gonna put that in the log, and then uh, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so here we are with the conclusion of that red light, green light trade. Went to bed, woke up to a loser. And uh, because I started this account uh, with this new log with just enough money to where I couldn't afford to take a loss, my first uh, big trade out of the gate. And I did, so we ended up uh, going under. So I had to refund that account a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right here. So I'm just gonna put added funds. Okay, so added funds. So we went and uh, added those funds to the account so that can get us back into the ability to trade. So we're out, added funds, and uh, there we go. So save, show you the chart. Okay, so right here, and like I said, we had so many winners, and I, I wasn't gonna trade my first trade on this until we had a loser. Because we had so many winners, I was like, I don't wanna jump into a loser my first trade out of the gate and have to add funds. Um, but that's what happened. So we added and uh, is what it is. So we're ready to go and uh, funds are in and we're ready to take this next trade. So we'll see which we'll see what sets up.